here goes Stefan. Um, I'm backpacking <laughs> by myself for the first time ever. <sighs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it. I have a ridiculously heavy pack. I've got seven miles to do today, so I'm gonna get going. And yeah, I'm up in the UP, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, at Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. You can't see the sign because it's so um, smudgy. But I'm hiking the North Country Trail, this leg of it, in this lakeshore, which is a national park, is, um, well, it's not technically a national park, but it's a national lakeshore, is 42 and a half miles, and I'm hiking the whole thing over the course of four days. And I'm starting today. And I'm taking you with me. And that's my bag, and it's ridiculous. And I'm a little bit ridiculous, but that's, that's what we're doing. Okay, well, here we go. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Mm, wait for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight, I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just storage box to for the bear situation and then they have a map of where all the different campsites are I'm at number four which is right I think it's right there right next to the fire pit and it says there's a toilet I'm like really huh okay and this is the toilet <laughs> if you are doing what the I mean hey better than digging a hole right so it's not even one and I'm already here which is great. Um, I don't see anybody else at this campground yet, but it's really early. I'm like super close to the fire. There's a fire ring there and a fire ring on the other side in the bear box. I, I'm pretty sure this is the site. I'm almost positive. Because <laughs> uh, there's number four. I'm just going to look around a little bit more. But, oh, I am so happy. It's so weird to take the pack off. It feels like I'm walking in, like on the moon without it. It's hard to explain, but like my feet feel like weird. <sighs> Things a monster. <laughs> but I did it. It was um, like seven and three quarters miles. Uh, okay. The lake is also like right there and really nice. And I think once I get all set up, once I determine this is actually my campground, I'm just gonna get everything ready so it's done. And then I'm gonna go, um, that's a big bird. Hi, big bird. That's a hawk. 
Hi, Huck. I'm gonna go um, hang out on the beach with my Kindle. That sounds like a plan. <laughs> Getting some electrolytes in. Can, you, can we talk about this view? She's so weird. Would you look at that? Pretty as a picture. Oh my goodness, look at that. Stunning. Well, it's locked. I don't know if you can kind of, you just see me. See the room in there. A little bit. What do you suppose these little huts are? I don't think it's a bathroom, but I don't really know. I guess I could look. Maybe it is. Oh, this is a private residence. Ranger not on duty. Oh, this must be a ranger house. So when I checked in at um, Grand Sable, the ranger there did say that there were bear-proof trash cans um, along the trail. So now I know. There's one here. I can dispose of uh, whatever trash I make overnight and a porta potty. Always nice to know. And then this is the trail. We'll continue, I guess, down these stairs tomorrow. I'm gonna go down them right now just to get down to the water. Suddenly the stairs got a little bit more sick. Let's see, I'm glad I'm not trying to do this with my pack on. I think that's the trail for tomorrow. I don't know. I don't have my map with me right now. But I might just come down here to the beach. Can you believe this? Like, what bit of heaven have I found here? It's just... And I'm soaking it in. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna, just gonna walk down the beach. Because why not? It's so beautiful. I wonder if this is the remnants of a dock. What do you think? This is rock. I know it's called picture rocks, but I keep wanting to call it painted rocks because the rocks look painted and they like that all over. It's different. It's different than this, but there's a lot of rocks in the water. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't even. Hello. I feel like Mr. Rogers taking my shoes off. I got camp shoes this time. I wisened up. They're super lightweight. They're by Zero shoes. They're like essentially nothing at all. <laughs> but, but they're something that keep your feet from getting dirty. So, I thought I would do, well, I'm Mr. Roger here like a campground confessional kind of thing every day. You know, reflecting on the day and um, how I think things went and kind of like an honest review of my day. And it's, it's 4.30, it's not very late. I think I'm gonna end up, I'm wearing a lot of socks. Is this gonna work? I think I'm gonna end up going to bed really, really early. Or at least like tucking myself in really early. I'm probably gonna start making dinner very soon because I'm hungry and I just want to have that all like done and cleaned up before sunset which is around seven in these parts um I just kind of want to be like all tapped in before bed but yeah day one was great I gotta be honest I don't know if I said this I think I mentioned it somewhere I packed a 40 pound bag clearly a newbie but also consider like I'm traveling solo so I'm carrying everything tent food all my gear is this what am I doing <laughs> I don't put these shoes on <laughs> no idea and also a little bit of camera gear but like I said I'm not even bring I didn't even bring like my whole kit and caboodle that I would normally bring on like a hiking camping adventure I didn't bring my handheld Sony I didn't bring my gimbal, I didn't bring any tripods except for this stick thing. Oh, that's feels good. But I did bring a lot of food and when I weighed my bag, I had my three liter water bladder full. 
So I think those are definitely the heaviest things. The tent is super light. Um, my sleeping pad is on the heavier side because I opt for comfort. Um, and I brought quite a few like bars and things that are a little bit heavier, I think, but I will eat those. About by like mile two, I was like, oh, this mother is really heavy. But I made it, I was like, I zipped through. I was doing like 21, 22 minute miles with the 40 pound pack. So I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know if I'm gonna do that tomorrow, that's a lot. Um, I did stop at the log run thing, which was almost six miles in, which was almost, it was like just two miles shy of being here. And I stopped there for about maybe 15 minutes, took my pack off and walked to, down to get the views which you saw. And I felt immediately better. And then when I put my pack on, I, st I felt fine until about mile, t until I got here, about mile two. I used slightly before when it started to really ache. So I feel like that, that mileage is going to get shorter and shorter. Like I'm gonna start aching like shorter into the hike, if that makes sense. Cause I'm just from fatigue, but I feel pretty good. And I'm just, I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna make, make my dinner in a minute here and kind of get all cleaned up, get everything put away in the bear box and yeah, tuck in. There's, one, uh, there's so far there's only one other couple here and they're the people that I rode up on the shuttle with from the Munising Falls um, Visitor Center. So I, I, I like that there's at least somebody else here because it makes me feel a little bit better. But it's not like people all over the place. And I hope I picked the right place for my tent. It is supposed to rain overnight. Who knows? I mean, I'm obviously not in anybody's way. It's just like, did I pick the right place? Is it protected enough? Is it not too close to trees? Is it close enough to, you know, I don't These are things we learn as we go, right? But yeah, day one, feet are throbbing, but not shooting pain. Shoulders are definitely tired and I'm just beat, but so happy. Oh my gosh, I spent, you know what I did? <laughs> so I hiked the almost eight miles to get here, but then I hiked another, it says I went 12 point, 12 and three quarters miles today. So I hiked a lot more. Like I hiked at least a half a mile to get to the lighthouse. And then I went up and down that beach the whole length. So it was probably a few miles. And then I came back, so I tacked on a few more miles today. But that was without my pack. And it was just, it was fun. I'm having fun. And I hope you're having fun joining me. I hope I have, still I'm having fun when I check in with you in the morning, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna cook some stuff and tuck it in at like 5.30. <laughs> Probably not that early, but soon after. So here's my setup, my tent. I'm sitting in my little chair. Still super happy I brought it. Um, this stuff sack has my food and my toiletries and my cup in it because anything that has a scent is gonna go in that bear box. There's my Jet Boil Mini Mo, jet boiling as we speak. I have my spork at the ready. And I have my little garbage bag. This is the garbage I've made on day one. Not much. Um, and this is what I'm having for dinner tonight. These meals are from Mary Jane's farm. And I had to order direct from her. I couldn't find them in a store near me. They were highly recommended by somebody I really enjoy following, um, Renee Romy. So I was like, hey, perfect time to get them to try. So technically it's two servings, but the whole pouch is only like less than 400 calories. Um, so it's definitely um, just one serving for me. Um, and basically you just boil however much water. The package says, in this case, one and a third cups. I'm boiling a little bit more in that because I know some of it will steam off. You pour it in, you let it sit for however much time. This pouch is 10 minutes. And then you eat it. And if you're wondering what my view is, it is good. Do you see that little green thing there? That's my spork. 
I just spent 20 minutes trying to fish it out with my fish with my um, hiking poles and just wedged it deeper in the rocks to a place I absolutely there's just no way it can get it so that's unfortunate because it's my only utensil and I'm not sure what to do <laughs> I don't feel that panicky about it I do have my knife but I don't think I can eat with my knife man oh man so this is why you bring two sporks okay or maybe don't try to eat breakfast on a slatted deck and this my friends that's why you always have a knife in case you lose your spoon. <laughs> yeah, eating this is gonna be fun, but at least I can mix it. You guys, the nicest thing just happened. These people were trekking past with their packs, and I was like, hey, do you, do you happen to have an extra spoon you could spare? I'd be happy to pay you for it. And she's like, well, we have two, but we've been sharing anyway. Bites, so we really only need one. And I was like, oh, you know, if you only have two and there's two of you, that's fine. Give it to me. Just like there's good people, you know. So I doubt these people will ever see this, but if you do, Jim and Lisa, thank you so much. I'm gonna be thanking you for the rest of this trip, and I'm forever grateful. And I'm crying. I know, <laughs> but it's powerful, right? powerful it's the little things that are the big things by the way this chai breakfast rice it's like super yummy the mystery of the wooden planks with bolts in them those are shipwrecks those are the bottoms of boats ship bottoms with exposed iron bolts wash in the surf oh shipwreck remains that's where i walked yesterday Wow. Oh, here. Oh my goodness. I would not have guessed that was the bottom of boats. That makes sense though. Wow. Also, look at this beautiful, beautiful morning. Not raining, not at the moment. We're enjoying it. <laughs> we as a me. done like four miles and change and I am cooked legs are fine lungs are fine heart is fine shoulders not feeling so fine it's like sticky too this is not weather I was expecting um, it's not rainy it's like real humid so I feel like the mosquitoes are out I need to maybe put on some bug repellent Glad I treated my clothes. I treated my clothes, uh, my pants and my shoes and my socks with um, permethrin before I left. Because I read there's ticks, but um, there's a little chip. He's like, do you have food? I show you, but he's so little. I don't think you would. <laughs> I don't think you would see him. Anyway, I decided to let myself just take. I found I'm at it like a bench place. There aren't that many of these dispersed in this part of the trail, so. I'm just taking five. <sighs> I can do it. This is my longest day. I can do it. I just want my shoulders to not hurt so much. Moon is watching shallow dreams. Night is rocking her to sleep. Wind whispers.
Beaver Creek. I'm staying at Beaver Creek Campground. I mean, come on. How pretty. Leads right into Lake Superior. Look at that. I think that's some sort of beaver dam. All right, I've got my camp set up. I'm hydrated. I'm gonna feed myself. And I'm gonna sit. Still super happy I brought this chair, by the way. Super worth it. Whoop. Hello, and welcome back to Campground Confessionals. Are there people behind me? Yes. Do I care anymore? About anything at all today? No. It's been a long day. I have trail mix in my teeth, so I apologize, but that is, that's really the least of my worries. I'm fine. It was just a really long and challenging day. I think this is my longest hike to date that I can remember doing that I've been tracking. So like in the last year, uh, I did 13.3 miles. <sighs> Mileage wasn't hard. The pack was heavy. It was, that was hard. And it was, yeah, my body was really tired, although it did fine, like we made it through. But it was like, a, it was mentally challenging because of the, the weight of the pack, I would say. So I didn't film a whole lot today, and that's because I was just trying to make it through. I even, I don't generally wear headphones on hikes like this. Like I like to listen to things when I'm walking, like in suburbia on sidewalks and stuff. But when I'm hiking and I'm on my own and I'm, you know, in the back country and whatever, I like to um, have all my senses available to me if possible. But I needed the distraction just to push through the second half. The seven, the seven miles on the end were just, whew. So, I had my audiobook to distract me a little bit, which which did help. It was a little bit more um, interesting terrain today. There's a lot of flies here, which I'm not digging. It's like humid today. And I think that it just felt really hot and sticky. I mean, it's only 66 degrees, but it feels like at least 10 degrees more than that. I think just because it's sticky and all the bugs came back out. And this is supposed to be the time of year where it's not humid and there's no bugs and oh well. It's fine, but the biting flies on the beach are no joke. I would not come back here in the heat of summer because there's there was not the, there's swarms of them in the summer, I've heard, so. I mean, I'm sure, you know, it's still beautiful and lovely, but it's just not my bag. I, I don't like the biting flies, I just don't. I'm trying to think, like, I don't know, I'm getting real good at this setup. It only took me, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes to get everything. I didn't time it. I should time it tomorrow and see. I should, I should film it and let you guys see me putting, putting it up. I'm getting better at it. And now I'm just waiting for my, my dinner to cook. I'm having mushroom and miso rice tonight in the bag. Oh my gosh. I'm still... I've been singing the praises of Jim and Lisa all day for this sport. I kind of... I was thinking I kind of hope... They're a little ahead of me. They're staying in a campground like the next one or two over. So I don't know if I'll cross paths with them again. But if I do, I'd love to get their address so I could send it back to them when all this is said and done. And I don't know, send them a little gift or just some little token of my gratitude because that just, it really, I just couldn't imagine eating all my meals with my like sharp knife, which is the only other utensil I have. So yes. I think from now on, I'm definitely going to bring at least two sporks. One for just to have a backup, and they weigh like nothing. But also to be able to pay it forward if ever I run into somebody on the trail who's like, do you have a spoon you can spare? I'd be like, yes, I do. Thanks to Jim and Sarah. I, or Jim and Lisa, excuse me. I do. Who's Jim and Sarah? I don't know. I'm hoping I sleep better tonight. It's getting real dark, so I have a feeling it, it might actually rain. It's not like, it's like two hours from sunset and it's already getting so dark. But I'm gonna do much what I did last night. I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna tuck in early. I just couldn't fall asleep last night. 
And there was, I mean, there's just no real reason. I mean, there were people on the campfire and I could hear them. That didn't bother me or anything. I just was so tired, but still just tossed and turned. I don't know, I'm like physically exhausted today, so, so that might help. Or not, because I'm pretty achy and sometimes, do you ever feel like when you're really achy, it's harder to sleep even though you need it even more? Anyway. Hi, bird. There was a chipmunk that just came, when I got all my like stuff out to cook, just came right up to me and was like, hey, you gonna feed me? I was like, no, no I'm not. <laughs> and he skedaddled, but that was pretty funny. Oh yeah, I was thinking, I haven't seen any animals, except for, I saw that heron earlier today with the guy who was fishing. I think he was like waiting to see what he caught. And I've seen a lot of chipmunks and a handful of squirrels and uh, birds, of course, um, crows and some hawks. I know you can see eagles up here. I have not seen an eagle, but I haven't seen any bigger critters. I'm gonna tuck in early and tomorrow's my short day. I think it's only eight miles, um, much like yesterday. So um, it'll be nice to, to give my body a bit of a break. And hopefully the pack will continue to get a little bit lighter and lighter as we, I keep saying we, it's really just me, I promise. As I eat more, more of the food. Yeah, I'm beat. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the morning. I wasn't kidding about the bugs. <laughs> they have just come out. They're on, that's on the outside of my tent. Um, whoa. whoa. Moon is watching.